Hello, my name is Maxim. And last Monday, you must have noticed that all the React databases are written to use React hooks. So I was wondering, what is it all about? How does this API look like? Seems like they provide a bunch of methods to allow to use state instead of purely functional components. Let's take a look at them. First method they provide is use state. And it reminded me about Reworm library. There is a repo by Pedro Nauk called Reworm. I will provide the link in the description. So you call this use state function with the initial value and it returns an array of values. First of them is a value and second one is a function to update it. Now you can use the value inside your rendering code. And when you update this value using this set function, the whole component will re-render. The main reason to do this was to embrace usage of functional components. Do you remember that feeling when you have a functional component and all of a sudden you realize that you've got to have state inside of it. So before React hooks, you would have to rewrite this component to be class-based. So now, instead of using classes, you can use useState inside your functional component. Let's create new React application. I will use create React app. Don't forget to update package JSON. You need to have React version 16.7.0 alpha, where the added support for hooks. Remove all the crap from the app div. Let's create hooks example component. It will be a functional component that will count our clicks. And of course, we'll have to store the amount of clicks somehow. So just before the return statement, let's use set state 0 and use the structuring assignment to get count value and set count function. Now we can use the set count function inside our own click handler. Let's try it out. Another thing that they've added was useEffect function. And this function allows you to perform side effects inside your function component. It serves the same function as component did mount, component did update, and component will unmount. Let's see an example again. <sighs> Just below the line where we used useState, let's write our useEffect function. Inside of it, we'll update our document title. Let's see if it works. Use effect and use state are regular JavaScript functions, but they have some additional rules. You can only call hooks on top level. You cannot call them inside if statements or loops. Another thing is that you should only call those hooks from inside React function components. React team also promised to create a linter plugin to enforce these rules automatically. Use effect runs after every render. And as you use it inside of your function component, you have access to its props. Uh, what else? You can return a function from inside of use effect. This function does the same as component will unmount hook in regular class-based components. So you can use it to unsubscribe from event listeners or clean up all the shit that you subscribed or... Uh... I will post a link with the code from this video so you can play around with hooks as well. You can also create your custom hooks to share stateful behavior between your components. It might allow to fix those huge components that people usually end up writing, or might not. I will explore it in next video. Subscribe to my channel, uh, subscribe to this channel and make sure to see next video where I will explore custom hooks.